Hello, I'm Douglas Boyd, Chief Executive Officer of Telesecurity Sciences, Inc. Telesecurities is a venture company that was founded two and a half years ago to address the problems of um, explosive detection at airports. Our initial product was a uh, workstation uh, that had the uh, capability of electronic unpacking of suitcases. This could uh, greatly reduce the cost of manual unpacking, which is conducted today at airports when uh, false alarm bags are discovered. Uh, since then, we've extended our workstation to address the problems of liquids in carry-on luggage. Um, recently, uh, we've had the problem of the 311 rule that forbids passengers from carrying liquids more than three ounces onto airplanes. Uh, we have extended the capability of our workstation to support the standard line scanners that are already installed at concourses and airports. Uh, for the purpose of analyzing li passengers' liquids and um, determining which are safe to board the airplane and, and uh, which are uh, potentially dangerous. Um, in a moment, uh, we'll go for a demonstration, a live demonstration of this new capability. <clears throat> okay, here we are back at the scanning room at Telesecurities, and what you see in the back is a x-ray line scanner, which is considered a legacy type of scanner. It's the most common type of scanner installed at airport concourses today. And in front is the Telesecurity workstation, which has been um, interfaced to that scanner and controls it and provides a much uh, more sophisticated level of processing than what is available today. And uh, specifically, we have programmed our workstation to analyze the problem of carry-on liquids. When we first uh, began this problem about six months ago, uh, we uh, demonstrated 100% detection rate and zero false alarm rate uh, for plastic bottles that were completely filled. Turns out this was the easier part of the problem. We extended that to irregular shaped bottles and um, a complicating factor is introduced by glass. Uh, glass required a very sophisticated uh, algorithm development to uh, correct for the, the uh, distortion that glass uh, produces. Uh, but we solved that problem, and uh, this is another type of glass bottle, a wine bottle. And uh, the last remaining problem was the problem of partially filled bottles. What I'm holding in my hand is a partially filled bottle of acetone, it's a glass bottle. Acetone is a flammable, it's forbidden uh, on airplanes. And uh, let's uh, demonstrate the capability of our workstation to process this kind of a bottle. Here I have a standard airport bin. I'm going to place the bottle into the bin and I'm going to uh, put the bin onto the belt. I then uh, control the scanner by clicking on the forward button on our workstation. The scanner is now scanning. Now uh, you can see the uh, process of the scan on the uh, standard display up there, which is what operators have to do. Then I stop. And uh, during this period, uh, the uh, computer is uh, processing. It took about one second. It's identified that liquid as a threat by outlining it with the red ellipse. It's also provided a lot of other information. It's provided the electron density, the atomic number, and the number of milliliters that that partially filled bottle is filled with. So with this capability, uh, we hope uh, that uh, we can uh, convince the TSA to adopt this uh, system in order to uh, reduce and eliminate the uh, troublesome uh, 311 rule that we have today at the concourse. Um, this is one example of telesecurity's uh, explosive detection uh, workstations and algorithms. Uh, we hope that this can grow to become a very successful uh, commercial uh, product in the future 
as uh, and that this will become adopted as a standard workstation. In the past, we've had uh, quite a bit of success with our previous uh, products and companies, including um, Envision, uh, in which we introduced 